Hello, it's Melissa Errico, and welcome to another edition of Out of the Dark, the mystery of film noir. Tonight we have Elevator to the Gallows, which really is my favorite. Well, they're all my favorite. This one is really, really an imprinting top for me. This is one of the great reasons, really, for myself why I was so fascinated by the noir aesthetic and this project even began. So this is Louis Malle's first movie that he made when he was 24. I wrote a few notes for you, so um, I will try not to give too much away, but share a few principal ideas, I think, maybe that are in the, um, the air this evening. Our theme, of course, is Franco-American dialogue in noir, and no one incarnates that more than Mal. He divided his career between France and America, making French classics like La Combe, Lucienne, and The Lovers, and American ones like My Dinner with Andre and Pretty Baby. It's memorable for its extremely complex plot in the juxtaposition of two doomed couples, Florence and Julien and Louis and Veronique, where most noir movies, of course, give us only one. The basic theme of noir is the implacable nature of fate, and here we have two couples caught up in that doomed fate. I won't give away reasons why, um, the femme fatale is an essential part of all noir, and this is Jean Moreau's breakthrough film as a certain kind of French femme fatale, as much victim as perpetrator. Not like Jane Greer in Out of the Past or Stanwyck in Double Indemnity, she's doomed as much as she dooms. One critic wrote, all the drama in the story is in Moreau's face the face that had been hidden behind cosmetics and flattering lights in all her earlier films. When Moll made The Lovers the following year, it was obvious who his woman would be. For one thing, he had discovered her, and for another, they were in love. The naturalistic non-studio treatment of Moreau lit by cafe and street lights is a precursor of the fast arriving naturalism of the French new wave. Last but no means least, maybe most, is Miles Davis's score. So by legend, Miles, who was in Paris for a gig, simply improvised the score with his band in a single session after he watched a rough cut of the movie. Nonetheless, it's one of the most evocative and moody of all movie scores, with the brooding melancholia of Miles's 50s music driven to a melodramatic intensity. I love the music of film noir, so you're really in for a transporting experience musically. So I hope you will enjoy tonight's movie, and if you would like to hear more uh, noir music, uh, Adam Gopnik, myself, and Ted Firth, a wonderful jazz pianist, we did a concert right here on the Fioff stage on May 6th, and it is uh, called Mystery, and it is the music of film noir. So if tonight you're all in the mood, maybe you'll check out the concert, which Fioff produced, and kindly they have made it available and on demand. So check out our Mystery concert, uh, which we did recently on this stage, and um, I got to sing some of the great, great songs of the noir sensibility. And I hope you enjoy that, and I especially hope you enjoy Elevator to the Gallows. For more information about all the movies on Tuesday nights in this film festival and the concert on demand, go to fioff.org. Have a great time tonight and thank you for coming.